The point is that people say that our society is rigged for white individuals and white men. The evidence does not suggest that. There's twice as many white people living in poverty today than black people. Now, the rate for poverty in the black community is much higher, but the aggregate number is something that should not be ignored. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm checking out Charlie effortlessly dismantle the racist white privilege myth. Guys, let's get straight into this. Do you believe in Asian American privilege? Hey, wealth yeah. doesn't mean power and privilege. Do you believe in Asian American privilege? I believe that there is a that there are a few people of certain races who have gotten very, very wealthy based on trade, based on well, the economic system that we have. Um, I also believe that as a white man. I historically have an advantage over people who are of a color that is not my skin. This can be. This is evident from the from the slave trade all the way up to Reconstruction and all the way up to Jim Crow laws. I, I assume, based on your facial expression, that you have a report. I'm going to go ahead and let you make that. So, did we treat Asian Americans well in the 1940s and 50s? We sure did. So then, how did they overcome that? They overcame that through a were they privileged having to work harder than white people. Oh, so they worked harder and they were rewarded for it 60 years later. How about people that work hard for like 350 years? Yeah. Like who? Slaves. Yeah. What, what? What? What do you mean? Do you know anyone that's ever owned a slave? Do I know anyone that's ever owned a slave? Yes. It has a lot to do with it. What does that have to do with like? Because if you make three, if you make three big choices in America, you're guaranteed not to live in poverty. You know what those three choices are? Get married, get married, get married before you have kids, get a job, and graduate high school. You know what community does that at the highest rate? Asian Americans. That's why they're successful. We live in a meritocracy. You make good choices, you will be rewarded for those choices. Irrelevant of your skin color. So when you say white privilege exists, good choice privilege exists. Yeah, but I think uh, white people reap a lot of benefits. Name one benefit that white people, but that they they benefit from this society, despite Asian. Please treatment. What? Police treatment. What about police, police treatment? Police that, treatment. That, that that white people are more likely to be shot by a police officer than a black person is likely to be shot Where by a police you? officer. From the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Department of Justice independent study of 300 independent this police forces across the country. Oh. Facts must bother leftists because they always walk you away know, as soon as you recite. Make shit you can make. You have a shit ton of leftists here who are still standing here. Well, I'm, I've already made a couple of leave, but I'm happy to keep Oh, you made a couple. Oh, that's great. No, that, but that's let's get back. Can you explain why? If no, white, no, that's quantifiable evidence. If white privilege exists, why are Asian Americans and Indian Americans wealthier, have higher incomes, live in better areas on aggregate than white Americans do? I don't know. Maybe because white privilege doesn't exist. <laughs> Maybe, or maybe oh, there maybe is. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. maybe skin color has nothing to do with it, but and choices I have everything to do with it. I disagree with that. Then show me some evidence, because I just showed you some evidence that it doesn't exist. What quote you take is evidence? What counts? Yeah. Something that I just said, for example, that the wealthiest some people in America, that you may yeah, have. numbers would be nice, historical data, logic. How about testimony? <laughs> No, Does testimony means testimony nothing. Count? I don't care about anyone's version of truth. I care about evidence. I don't care about feelings. I care about facts. Are, are most of these studies based on, you know, partially based on testimony, though? No, when you say that Asian Americans are the richest people in America, that's math. That's looking at people's income. That's not testimony. Testimony would be a singular person saying, I've had a tough time. That would be testimony, which that might be true. But that doesn't so make it true in the aggregate. I'm sorry? Is there discrimination against There's black discrimination people? against all sorts of people. Yeah, is it worse against black people or is it equal? Depends what part of the country, it depends what situation. And when that exists, so there's together, laws to put people in prison. If you, if you put them all together, which race faces the most discrimination? I would say probably Hispanic Americans in certain parts of the country, even more so. But but I, I have no data to support that. You asked me some anecdotal question. I, I haven't done that much thinking about it. But I'll say this. In America, if you make a sequence of good choices irrelevant of skin color, you will be rewarded for those choices. We're one of the only countries in the world where that is possible. Where you can have intergenerational ascension. Where your kids can be better than how you are today. It's like... 
It's not a fallacy. That's why Asian Americans entered. That's why Asian Americans entered in the 1940s as the poorest group in America, and they're now the richest group. The Constitution was not written in Korean. Yet they, they have benefited the most from what people call a white predominant society. Indian Americans, for example, from India, are the second richest per race. Was was the Constitution written in Hindi? No, that's exactly the point. Oh, okay, gotcha. Can continue. The, the, the point is that people say that our society is rigged for white individuals and white men. The evidence does not suggest that. There's twice as many white people living in poverty today than black people. Now, the, the rate for poverty in the black community is much higher, but the aggregate number is something that should not be ignored. So the, the misconception that our country is rigged just for people based on a certain skin color has zero evidence. Yet that is the predominant thing that is being taught in our university. When did it stop? What do you mean? When did that when did it not be rigged? Because it clearly used to be rigged. You're saying it isn't rigged now. That, that's a fair point. I'd say throughout the 60s and 70s and 80s, as America got significantly less racist, as we passed the Civil Rights Act, things got more equitable in the sense where better decisions got rewarded more. And you don't think that there could be a lag effect of 350 years of slavery and 100 years of Jim Crow? I think those inequities have been more balanced out, more so than it's even worth considering that, that 350 years of inequity. For example, Asian Americans built the, the railroad system in America in the late 19th, in the late uh, 1800s, early 1900s in America. We put Japanese Americans in internment camps in the 1940s. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Jew, Jewish Americans had an extermination order against them in Europe in the 1940s. The yeah, point being is that right. So almost every racial uh, ethnic group has had some form of suffering. So to point to something that happened a very, very long time ago and to attribute the inequity today to that. It wasn't that long ago, though. When, no. was, when was slavery abolished? Slavery was abolished in 1808. The international slave trade was, uh, was, uh, was got rid of. But then we actually resorted to chattel slavery, which is where we bred them. Uh, like cattle. You're not going to hear me defend slavery for a okay. second. No, I mean, that, no, that, that, that's good. Great, because it's, one of the great sins of the Ameri- it's one of the great sins of the American story. Yeah, but you know what's right. also admirable yeah. about it? How we got rid of slavery. What, because admirable about slavery? No, no. What's admirable about our history, not about oh, slavery. Okay. Thank you. But we still because have to with like, repercussions. What, 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 what repercussions would that be? The lack of the ability for certain people to live like, well. Such as who? I don't know, like I was down in New Orleans, right? And I see all these mansions eating their food. It's like those people, their old mansions, they made their money, they're probably slave owners. Then you go into a black neighborhood and it's like. But they might have been slave owners in 1865 they when have the American... accumulated wealth that can compound versus people that don't have the opportunity. Oh, okay, to so you're you're making a fair point that there might be intergener- intergenerational inequities. How do you go about that? Well, some people on the left would say. You tax it, you take away from what people used to have. I totally and completely disagree with that. What do you think? Then what is your case? What, because how I do you reparations then? There's no reparations. I believe in opportunity. Instead of trying to fix the past, which will never happen, which is a horrible idea, you create a better future. It'll never happen. If, no, because you know why? Any country that's ever tried reparations has failed miserably. South Africa, for example. They've tried reparations the last 30 years. They're more racially divided on the brink of civil war than they ever have been. You think we're on the brink of civil war? I hope not. You think so? No, I said I hope not. But I asked if you think so. No, I don't think we are. But it's people on the left that want us to be more divided than not. No, I think it's like you. No, no, no. You're here trying to divide people. Hold on a second. Uh, Do you support black-only dormitories? Sure. You do? Okay. That's resegregation. You realize that? No, I think if black people want to do that, we should allow them to because they have to face up. Well, then would you support white-only dormitories? No. Why? Because it's a... Pretty much the school is white-only. Pretty much every dormitory is white-only. I don't know the demographic makeup of Oregon, but I would, yeah. looking around, I'd say it's a more diverse campus than just being a white-only campus. If black people want to be Yeah. So you believe in black-only graduation ceremonies at Harvard? If they want that, sure. So, so, Why do I care? Why does it bug me? Well, it should bug you that we're no. resegregating no, parts of the population. There's a difference. That it's people totally march different. in this. What, what's the what difference? Do you think white people say that black people have to be separate. What's the difference of skin color? What's the difference between a white person and a black person? Tell, you. tell me what's the difference between a white person and a black person. There's no difference. They're both no, human beings. They're, they're only like one race, the human race. They're treated they're, differently. How are they treated differently? Give me one piece of evidence. What can a black person not do in America that I can do? They get treated differently by the police, and I've seen it. Really? Yeah. 
even though the data shows that a data black person can be, data can be used to lie. Police, Wait, police so, data, so facts don't matter. Police essentially. departments are actually capable of policing their own records. So yeah. the, the ability even though most of the inner city police forces are black majority police forces. Are they okay, such that's as Philadelphia? Great. Philadelphia is a 44% black city with a 56% black police force. Bugs you? No, it actually gives me happiness. That, yeah, because I, I, I care about all people and I don't look at people on, based on race like you so do. So you're post racial? Absolutely. Because it does, that you're does not. Exist. You're the one that wants black only graduation ceremonies and black only dormitories. That's not what I said. You're okay with that? I'm not okay with that. Yeah, we desegregated America. We we de if that argument works for you, and it's not desegregated. It's, it's still, not. There's still a lot of problems. And Do like you, to say that if people want to have, but the so, problems are not based on race. Yeah, they are. There's you, tons you have, of racial problems in America. You, you have yet to give me any evidence or data or one piece. Do of you example. believe that there are any racial problems? Ab individually, absolutely. Are there individually committed people that are racist? A hundred percent. Do you believe the that there are systemic no? President racial Trump is one of the least racist the people in America. <laughs> Do you believe you that? Like no. Give me one. Give me one evidence that he's racist. How about he got caught? Discriminating against giving out uh, complete housing. and total false, not true whatsoever. Okay, what, so would, you can not believe. Wait, no. What, what, would, would a okay. racist president, such as President say. Donald Trump, put a black woman as the that first army sergeant that is ever not a real in the history of the United States Army? That, that I'm would a it, racist to have a black friend argument. The first army fly. sergeant. So, 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 uh, uh, no, no, the first army, army sergeant ever in the history of, of the, the U.S. Army. The that, first that, that, woman, that's not true. The first woman battalion commander you could look at. Oh, okay. Battalion by the United States Senate. The first black woman confirmed by the United States Senate in a position in the United States Army ever. Here's a very simple okay. question for you. At yes. what point does someone stop being a racist in your mind? I haven't thought about it. You haven't thought about it, yet you're quick to label, but you're not quick to retract or have a line in your head. That's pretty maybe, dangerous, maybe isn't when it? When they die. When they die. That's pretty sinister. Do you think I'm a racist? Yeah. Are you a racist? No, no, hold on a second. He thinks I'm a racist. Why would you say I'm a racist? Just the stuff you're saying. Name one thing I've said that's ever racist. Whatever, I'm not going to play that game with you. You're the Justin! Just kidding! He doesn't need a hype guy. He doesn't need a hype guy. He's doing good on the mic myself. Guys, like, how can students be like this? Like, to be honest, I honestly believe that we all have equal opportunities. You just have to search for it. Like, right now, you see a lot of content creators who are black, white, Asian, Chinese, like, we come from different ways and we can actually do different things. Like some people actually want to see a black person reacting to this. More like they want to know this person's perspective. I won't say a black person, but like let's say an African. How an African we perceive or or like react to an a musical song or how an African American is gonna see what happens in Canada and how he thinks of it. Or how in Nigerian things of what happened in China. Like I believe that everyone has their own preference, but I honestly believe that America is not a racist country. Yes, there are some individuals that are racist, but like I mean, let's say when police I know that police do this kind of thing, race profiling, like when they see you are black, when they see you're Nigerian, they feel like we need to check him out. But like I honestly say if a lot of people or a lot of black people or a lot of Asian people commit less crime like police are not going to be uptight like when they see someone like you let's say i i if you're my comes to america and police sees him checks his luggage and he's good to go like more like and he talks to the police in a very like mature manner and when police see him be like wow you're from nigeria yes so when he sees another nigerian he's gonna be like people in nigeria are actually like this so we're gonna talk to you without level of respect and when you still give him that respect, like I would say that guys start coming down based on the fact that that's going to start to feel like let's say Nigerians are cool people, the way they feel like Asians don't really like trouble. And Asians they are people that actually value like their culture very much and they value their family. And these are things that we need to aim at as as Africans, as black as as individuals per se because i really don't see the difference between a black and a white person yes that color difference but like personally i i really won't see there's a difference in character there are cultural differences but like in character i, I really won't see there's any difference because like it just depends if we were both raised up in 
America, we're going to act the same way. And that's just the thing. But guys, everything about this. Thank you for like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to see you next time, guys. Great.